guys, I completely skipped the last pile, which is bizarre because it's mine. <laughs> um, so here, I'm coming back for the second part for people that are thinking, oh my God, that was my pile. So here we go. We're going to be working with the Bestwick cat, the little English cat that plays the guitar. Only one song she knows how to play, and there's only a little part of me that's English. Actually, I don't even think we're English. I think we're, well, we're Welsh, but my grandmother was raised in England. <laughs> um, Bestwick pottery. Very expensive, fine china. My mama Sherry, my surrogate mom gave me this when I was on my beginning of my spiritual quest when I moved to Wisconsin, Sturgeon Bay, and uh, was adopted by the most beautiful family in the world that I still love with everything in me. So we're gonna start. Our reading is Surrender. <laughs> no surprise that I chose this for me. So surrender, very first message that comes, and I spoke about it already in the first part of this reading, was <sighs> Spirit wants us to surrender our expectations and time frames, like, like um, specific time frames. We have things in mind. Um, also, when we're trying to figure something out, we just can't find our way through it, we surrender it. We need to surrender it to Spirit. We can't carry it. We can't try and figure it out. When we get overwhelmed, when we get frustrated, when we get angry, it's all beyond our realm of being able to cope. And so the best thing to do is surrender. I spoke a lot today about this is the weather today. This is this day of surrender. The boats out on their emotional waters just floating. They're not going anywhere. They're just relaxing. It is Saturday. You know, it's a beautiful sunny day here. I don't know where you are. But today, it's the spirit of surrender. Surrender doesn't mean that you have given up. It doesn't mean that you have... Um, lost faith, it just means you're surrendering the situation to spirit, to handle. You are probably feeling very exposed, very, very vulnerable, very open, very naked. Vulnerable is the word. And so we want to try and protect ourselves and that would have us see us putting up a shield. But spirit doesn't want us to, to guard our hearts that way. They want us to put a shield of protection, yes, but of, of a balanced shield of protection. We want to surrender our fears and our worries and our concerns to spirit and recognize that we are taken care of. We can surrender. We don't have to feel naked and vulnerable and exposed. We do want to remain naked and open and vulnerable. Spirit said there's a message coming. Stay open. Keep your heart and mind open. And right now, it's like the, the, the harder you try to, 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 to grasp what it is that you're, you're wanting, the farther it runs from you. You reach for it and it's just out of reach. I was talking about my landlord trying to get his cat last night. He got so frustrated. He was running around. He was yelling. There's no way that cat was coming back. You can't chase. I said, don't chase him. Don't yell at him. He's not going to come back. Or it was a she actually. And, uh, but he wasn't seeing things properly because he had been drinking. So he wasn't looking at things. And I think about that when you're drinking your, your state, you're in an altered state. So when our mind isn't clear, you don't have to be drunk, you don't have to be drinking, you don't have to be stoned, but when you're not thinking with your spiritual self, when you get worried and frenetic and up and not, you aren't coming from your highest self. You're coming from your ego mind. You aren't going to be able to see things properly or understand things properly. You're going to run around screaming and yelling and it's not going to get you anywhere. And I said to him, you know what, why don't you just relax and, and say, he said, well, Coyote's going to get him, Coyote's going to get her. And I said, you know what, just stop affirming that. Stop affirming that. You're saying that. So what you need to say is she's going to be fine. She's going to come back. Just relax. But then I heard him out there. You know, he did for a little while. Then he went out there and he's yelling and screaming. And then he saw her and he went chasing her. And when he got to her, he got almost got to her. And he almost pounced on her. And then he lunged and she jumped off the patio. And, and, I, and, I, and she ran and he was yelling again. <clears throat> so we get frustrated sometimes when things don't go the way we want. And we, then we get angry and we push it away. I do that. I get mad. And I make myself go on a power walk and spirit walks me through it. They talk me through it. I listen to songs. They give me, you know, messages and songs. Listen to your heart, not your ego head. Before you say goodbye, listen to your heart. Surrender the situation. And I said, I'm mad as hell. I'm stomping up the hill. And I said to the father, I'm giving this to you. Just take it from me. Sometimes it's hard to give it to them, to spirit. Sometimes you just have to say, please take it. 
I'm so frustrated. I'm so hurt. I'm so angry. I'm so upset. I'm so tired. Please take it from me. I need for you to help me get to the place where I feel like I can just relax. I just need to relax. I know I need to relax, but you need to help me. And we can do anything we set our mind to, says the solar plexus color. But this is also mixed up with your seed of sexual energy, the creativity, which is all in a swirl. And right now I can't get, see clearly. This, this little guitar, this little cat's trying to play the guitar. And in my dream the other night, I was trying to play this music. But I looked down at the sheet of paper and I couldn't read the notes. And I said, my Uncle Phil always showed me how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And this one stepped forward and said, I will show you. This one that had blue eyes and a small nose. And the, and, and the, um, the small nose represented, because I was talking about Pinocchio, his nose grew and he lied. So the fact that this one had a small nose meant this one was telling the truth. This one was truthful and it was going to show me how to do it. Sometimes we don't know how to do something. And we have to be not proud. We have to surrender and allow someone else to take the, the lead. This, I said, sexual energy. That's creative energy. When we're all over the place, when we can't see clearly... Our creativity is blocked. I'm not able to figure out how to how to play this song or, or, or figure out the words or because this is creativity. This is a musical instrument, and when you know how to play it properly, you play you make it's harmony, right? We're working in harmony with this instrument, with this tool. Your creative thoughts and, and maybe your voice and your words come out with this song when you're playing the guitar. You're moving in harmony together. I'm looking at this little cat playing this guitar and I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm tired of being played like a violin is what I heard. I'm tired of being played like a violin. So you take control of your life and you start playing. You play your own game. You play your game for life. You have the ability to do anything you set your mind to. Surrender the thought that you're doing this alone. You have help. Surrender the thought that you know what's coming around the corner because in all reality, you don't. We get glimpses, but we don't know. Spirit said, keep an open heart and an open mind. Maybe this is a form of meditation for you. Bring out your guitar and just play it. You know what I've been wanting? I'm going to look for today. My cat broke my crystal singing bowl four, three and a half years ago, three years ago. Four years ago when he left, three and a half years ago, I guess it's been now, he broke my crystal singing bowl and I haven't gotten another one and I, and I want it. There's also brass singing bowls, but what I'm getting here is music. Okay, we also need to listen to it. the music. What is the music telling us right now? It's time to shop. There's savings on special merchandise. It's time to shop. It's interesting. We didn't get music, but what we got was, I got this in a dream the other night, how that one that came forward to help me, remember I said I didn't know how to, to I, I looked at the music notes and I, and I didn't know how to do it? I thought, I don't remember how to, I don't know how to read notes. Uncle Phil always helped me. And that one with the blue eyes, he had a price tag on his hat. It was on sale, and I wondered, why does he have a price tag on his hat? Because in my dreams, that's what I saw. And remember in the other reading, I said, you have not been discounted. You are not on the sale rack. And then I thought, well, maybe you are on the sale rack so that I can afford you. That is the one that was coming forward to help me read the notes properly. I wasn't able to read the notes on my own. We don't do anything by ourselves. We can't, we're not... Um, Sometimes people need to see that in us, that we need their help, that they are needed. Sometimes people don't feel like we need them. And you know, in all reality, we say we don't need anybody. We can do anything we set our mind to, but we do. I said that I need my twin. I, don't, I didn't love him because I needed him. I needed him because I loved him. I needed him though. That's a part of me that I don't get when he's not here. So oftentimes we, others in our lives, don't feel needed. Allow people to see your vulnerable side. Surrender. The, the need to be this strong, resilient person. Remember, Spirit said there was going to be someone coming forward that's going to help carry us. 
We don't have to do everything alone. I don't want to. I'm an asking. I, I want this. I want help. I don't know how to, I don't know how to read those notes. I don't know everything. None of us know everything. And surrendering doesn't mean we have given up. It just means we don't know everything. We're surrendering expectations. We're surrendering time frames. We're surrendering to spirit and, and even to ones in our lives. Because we're all part of a team. In order to make music, you can't make music all by yourself. you just standing there. You need a guitar. You need, you need something else. You can sing by yourself. But if you want to move in harmony in a situation or with others, you've got to work as a team. Team spirit is so important. You also have to know that it's not weakness to surrender. This doesn't have to be a female. This could be a male that needs help. Just because you're a big, strong male doesn't mean that you're always feeling confident. Somebody said to me the other day, that big, strong guy, the man of the forest, I said, where's the green man of the forest? Sometimes the, the big, strong, remember that the, there's a little acorn grows into a giant sequoia? And I said something about the green man of the forest and somebody said, sometimes that green man, that big, strong man is scared. Sometimes they're not secure. Sometimes they are needing help. Sometimes they're not feeling strong. It may not be that they're scared, but in all reality, we all have fear. Sometimes you look at that as a weakness and it's not. Maybe to show yourself you're, you're, to be naked in front of somebody is a weakness you feel. I don't want to be exposing myself. I feel weak that way. I'm afraid of commitment. Why? I feel open, naked, vulnerable, exposed. I put up a tough act because that makes me feel strong and protected. But Spirit's saying surrender all these illusions. So many things without even turning the card around come to mind. Have you, somebody made you feel like you were on sale? That's a great thing because then you're on sale for somebody who deserves you, somebody who recognizes the value in you. Maybe something that's really, really awesomely valuable you're going to be able to get because Spirit put it on sale for you. And you know what about this little beautiful little Bassett cat? I broke it. Its little leg was broken right here. And so if I went to sell this at an antique store, it wouldn't hold the value. The, this world, present world, wouldn't see the value in this Bessett kit. This is very expensive little cat. But it had already been glued. I think when my mama Sherry it had got it for me, it had been glued. It already had been glued. The leg was glued right there. Couldn't tell. Actually, you know what? I think when she gave it to me, it might have been perfect on the outside. But it broke. I broke it. I broke my own musical instrument. And I glued it back together. It's very strong. This has not lost any value for me. This is incredibly valuable to me. Even though this musical instrument was broken. It's been put back together. I had a thing when I was growing up. My mo I learned it from my mother. Anything that was chipped or cracked was thrown away. She didn't want anything that wasn't perfect. But nothing is perfect. I learned that too. I didn't like things that were chipped and that were broken. And my friend Sandy just showed me something that she did and I thought it was the coolest thing. She found this beautiful little unicorn but its, it's horn had been broken off. And she got a crystal and glued the crystal on. How much more perfect was that than the original ceramic horn. Now there was a crystal horn. So now it's a symbol of magic, that unicorn. And it's also a powerful symbol of the crystal of the earth. The powers that crystals hold. It's now a tool that you can work with. So what somebody might have thought was broken in themselves or in you, there is so much more value in it.
It's all in your eye, the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Value is in the eye of, the, of, of who's got it in front of them. And what does it mean to them? So surrender your expectations. Surrender and be patient. You're going to get what you want. It may not come in the way that you were expecting it to come. Or even in the, in, in the person or the idea or the business or the job, whatever. It may not come in that. And we can't control what other people feel and what other people think and what other people say and what other people do and what they choose. But if you have chosen someone, even me, if I have chosen someone in their life, my life, but they have a fear of commitment and they will never move forward, it's not in my highest good. I wanted that so badly. I thought it was in my highest good, but I'll recognize that it's a blessing for myself. And I'll be able to move forward and recognize the truth of the situation and have confidence to move forward. Another message from this is whatever you're going through, see this up and down? You're going through this time period of up and down and, and it's, it's about to soon to stabilize. That's what Spirit said. So if it's been money that you've been concerned with, project that was broken, project that broke, fell apart, you can take what you've learned from that, put it back together, because Spirit says there's abundance coming to you. Get moving on your creative project. We work with Spirit. Abundance may be ideas, it may be creative, creative ideas, it may be inspiration, it may be health, it may be energy, it may be friendship, it may be love. What have you been asking for? Because Spirit is pouring it out to you. And they want you to take the steps necessary to bring it in. If you're, if you're trying to bring more financial stability into your life, you need to take the steps with the ideas that Spirit brings forward and the opportunities that Spirit brings forward. If you're wanting to make friends, you need to get out and, and associate with people. If you want love, you need to be love. You need to love yourself. Work on yourself. Spirit says, open your arms. We're about to deliver what you've been asking for. And remember, keep an open heart and open mind. It may not be what you were thinking. Time frame. Take action. Well, there you go. You're not going to get what you want sitting in that chair. You need to take action. To bring it into you. Ask Spirit. Show me what form of action I need to take. Maybe what you need to do, since you were told to surrender the ideas and the situation, you look at this and you think to yourself, how can that be, how can that not be a contradiction? On one hand, you're being told to surrender. On the other hand, you're being told to take action. Well, how about this? Surrender your expectations and your time frames. There's something that's about to come to you, an opportunity or abundance coming forward, and you will be required to take action. It came in that order. Or surrender how it will come about or why it happened, why it went this way. Recognize the abundance that's coming to you that Spirit's bringing and then take action. Surrender what you thought you wanted. Be open-minded and open-hearted about the abundance in front of you. Take action to pull in to you what you want. And that's your message. You've got a long message. Sorry that you guys had to have it in two parts. I love you.